Hi everybody, this is Christine Bertram and I am coming to you live from the Hive on a Thursday night. We're not having a card making class tonight, but what we are doing is going to be going through all some beautiful swap cards that I got from a host uh, swap that I hosted this past week. So many pretty, pretty cards. So the exciting thing that happened this weekend was the launch of the holiday mini catalog. And it's the second, so there's a main annual catalog that Stampin' Up! has for the whole year. And then they do two mini catalogs, uh, one in the spring, and it's the January through June catalog. Hi, Faye. And then there's also the July through December catalog, which is, I call the holiday catalog, or we most know that by the holiday catalog. And it was delayed this year by a month because of the global shipping issues and all that craziness that happened around the world and still continues to happen. And so they delayed it to be August. <laughs> so, oh, Faye, Faye is joining us from Virginia. Woohoo! So Faye, as long as I have you here. <laughs> Hi, Chris. Um, I did get your email about classes. So I, um, I will reply to that very, very soon, but just know that I'll put you down for all of them and we'll figure out the rest later. <laughs> Hi, Patricia. Hi, Christy. Sunny Washington. Woohoo. Hi, Karen Braxton. Hi, Anne. So the holiday mini catalog launched on Tuesday and I will be completely honest with you guys. <laughs> it has like the last three days have flown by. Hi, Arliss. I had a camping trip. Hi, Jean. I had a camping trip last weekend and I really brought a whole bucket of things to work on a whole tote and I did not open it. It made Tyler happy. <laughs> hi Debbie. Hi Jeannie. Hi Diane. And so I didn't open that tote, but oh, I, I, I have a big event coming up tomorrow, which is called the Summer Creative Escape. Hi Jennifer Jones. Um, thanks for sharing Jean. I really appreciate it. So the Summer Creative Escape is coming up. It's tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday. I took a vacation day for it. And I have a total of 60 people who signed up for this demonstrator only event, discount shopper demonstrator. Um, hi, Julie from Metro Detroit, Michigan. Woohoo! Hi. Um, <laughs> hi, everybody. Thanks for joining in. Um, so this event is tomorrow and it's a labor of love. And I'm so lucky that I have some awesome helpers. People would pop in to drop off stuff or offered to help. And I, between everybody, I've managed to get everything prepped and ready. And right now I actually have a couple gals. I had eight gals that graciously accepted uh, my asking <laughs> to put displays together. Thanks for sharing, Bonnie. Um, and so I've got a few girls right now that are working in my garage. So this event is at my house uh, the next three days. Um, instead of doing a one and a half day retreat at a hotel up in Oshkosh, like I've done the last few years in December or January, I did this one at my house because we have an awesome space for it. And I, um, but the rest of the screen is black. Hi, Ellen. I don't know why the rest of the screen is black. Go out, exit Facebook, close it all down and come back in. <laughs> That's all I can say because I'm watching myself and everything's there. Hi, Elaine. Hi, Kay. Hi, Mary. Hey, naughty Nancy. So I have 15, so this space here can fit 16 people. And so I have 15 for tomorrow, I have 14 for Sunday, I have 16 for Sunday, and we have 16 online. So 60 people is amazing. My mom is the chef, my dad is the sous chef. <laughs> they, my dad's grilling up hamburgers for everybody. Um, so we're having hamburgers and the fixins for lunch, both, all three days. Hi, Brenda Wood. Um, and then my mom's making a big, a lasagna for each night so there's lunch and supper and so my mom and dad have been cooking <laughs> hi becky christensen i've had so many helpers here helping cut ribbon and package up stuff and make goodie bags if you guys look over here i don't know if you can see it but the tables are nice and orderly i've got everything kind of set up except for that little section right there that's like the leftover part but i've been a busy bee. <laughs> so, um, Tammy um, Sokolik and Anna Rebidu were here last night. Diane was helping. I even hooked Melanie into helping in Jill but seen. And so, wow, you guys, so I just, I'm on this topic because it's happening tomorrow, the first ever summer creative escape. So, hi, Kathy back. 
So yeah, so I am gonna do a Facebook Live on this page at some point through the event just to show you guys what's going on um, with the activities, with the make and takes and the displays and just to show you guys what it's all about. And maybe, I know that not everybody's local to me or in, can be in person, but there's always the online option. So the cards are gonna be so awesome. Hi, Donna from Pennsylvania. Hi, Debbie Schultz. So Debbie Schultz. <laughs> <laughs> I have a post-it note here with everything written down for you. I just need to call you to talk to you. I think that was going to be what my plan was. And I, I know you had a wedding last weekend and I was camping. And so we let it go. But I don't just know, I did not forget. You are signed up for three classes and all three classes are, they went in the mail today, just so you know. So we will catch up on, um, I think we're all square on everything, by the way. But I just will go over with everything with you. Hi, April Drain. Hi, Wendy Kruger. So, yes, so you guys, I'm so excited. A bunch of you who are watching are gonna be joining me this weekend. I have long distance travelers. Melanie came in from Tennessee and I have another Melanie coming from Arizona. So super cool, awesome, awesome. So um, there will a replay, yes. So Elaine, when I do a video of what's going on here, on, I'm gonna pick one day and do it. Yeah, the replay will be available. So you could either catch it live. It's gonna be spontaneous when I've got a little downtime and then I will go um, on there and you guys can can see the replay. Hi Anna. Hi Kathy MacArthur. <laughs> oh, you got your notification for shipping. So <laughs> you're like, woo! <"Woo-hoo." laughs> she didn't forget about me. <laughs> I never forget about anybody. <laughs> I just might not remember all the time. <laughs> so, all right. So what we got tonight, guys? I have um, a lot, uh, not a lot to get done, but I need to get to bed early tonight. So I'm gonna try to keep tonight's swap card showcase like scaled back, not to two and a half hours. I'm gonna try to keep it under two. That's my plan. Hi, Angela. Um, so we do have some prizes I want to announce. Hi, Holly. Um, so last week, Kelly did the paper pumpkin and I had a little piece of paper and four cards set aside for her to do a drawing, but I did not communicate with her before I left for camping and my reception pretty much went shoddy after about three or four hours of going north. <laughs> so Kelly didn't get the memo <laughs> that would never left my brain to tell her. So we're gonna do a drawing for the paper pumpkin last week. There were a few people, I don't know, maybe 15 people, 16 people that got paper pumpkin from me last month. So I'm gonna do a drawing for that. We're gonna do a random number generator drawing for the top fans. I will announce verbally who won the ink, paper, scissors cards, even though I posted on it. I had scheduled the post. I just didn't give Kelly the notification to announce it. I'll announce them officially. Um, we're gonna do the random drawing for the team challenge for July 15th through the 31st. And then I'll announce the monthly creative challenge and the class card challenge winners. Whoa, so a lot of prizes. So we're gonna have to, have to save some time for all of that at the end. Hi, Sandy Wicklander. So that's what we've got for later on. Okay, Debbie wasn't worried, and thank you. <laughs> so what is happening? So you guys, if you're new to me, what I do with every start of a new catalog, I host swaps and I participate in swaps. And swaps are when you make, let's say, 15 of the same card, and then um, other, like 14 other people make cards, and then you all exchange them. So you're making one card and spending only a couple hours, or I guess, depending on how fast you are, or so you are, you could be spending more time <laughs> making 15 cards. Um, and then you're getting 14 others in return. So you get some ideas and stuff to put on display, or just, just for the heck of it, like fun cards to get back and have inspiration from. So this, I've been doing this for many catalogs now. And so if you wanna watch past ones, all you have to do is go into my page and go into the magnifying glass and type in Swap Card Showcase and it'll bring up the videos. So the Swap Card Showcase tonight is for this new awesome, amazing catalog. Hi, Karen. Um, it is full of wonderful new goodies. <laughs> I have heard some really good results or like positive feedback on this catalog. And so what I'll do is I'll pull up the page so you guys can see the different products in the catalog and know what pages they are from. And then I'm gonna be showing you cards. So what I always tell people, my joke is, get your pen, paper, and some popcorn and a, and a, um, a beverage <laughs> so you guys can take notes. Um, so thank you for sharing, Donna. Yes, as you guys, I love seeing that you share and I love seeing where you're from. So as you guys pop on, if you wanna post that. And also what I do is I do do drawings for um, people who comment on here. I can put your names in and pick winners then to win prizes from me. So hi, Vicki Fritz. 
So, I got glue on my desk. <laughs> I was trying to pick it off. Oh, but before we do that, I have a couple of cards I want to share with you guys. So, let's move this really quick. I got a couple of happy mails. Hi, Jennifer. Okay, so this one came from, I believe it was Judy Kruger. So, she sent me this beauty. Um, hand penned paper here, I'm pretty sure. And these are some actually some extra flowers. They were from a kit. Uh, that was available from Stampin' Up! last annual catalog. And I love it. I can write on the inside and use this card. And there's a dimensional back on there <laughs> that got stuck for me. <laughs> so very, very pretty. And it came with the matching envelope. I love it. Hi, Mary from upstate New York. Look at these. They look so pretty together. I got both of these. within. This one's from Kathy Cornea. Look at this, how she decorated the envelope, you guys. I don't do it often enough, um, but <laughs> I love that. Hi, Lisa. We'll see you on Sunday, girlfriend. Uh, I love the decorating of the envelope. And so Kathy said, and she wrote a little love note in here for me. She wrote that she was loving the new, um, she liked the In the Tropics and the Pineapple Book cards, and she's been making a lot of these book fold cards. And so you guys, I am a big fan of these book fold cards. I love them. This die on the front here is from the Hippo and Dies die set. And then this is some of that new Highland Heather shimmery ribbon. It's so pretty. And then the hand penned on here. So some some love that I got in the mail. Let's see, I gotta get this situated. Okay, um, <clears throat> you like the double ribbon on that card? Yes, so this one right here, it's actually, I, I don't know if it's a double ribbon, but it's, I think you're talking about this, Anne. This ribbon right here is like our organdy in the middle and then satiny on the ends and it's got a little gold stripe right through each side there. So very, very pretty. Hi, Ethel from New Jersey. Hi, Denise. Okay. So that's what I've got there. And then you guys, did you watch Kelly's Technique Thursday today? Ooh, <laughs> it's pretty. Good morning, Sue Beasley. <laughs> Lockdown number six here in Melbourne, Australia. I am so sad to hear that. I hope you're getting a lot of stamping done <laughs> and hopefully you still can get stamping stuff to your house. <laughs> so this is the card Kelly made. Um, I don't remember what she called it, an exploding gatefold maybe? Ah, oh, she did a fabulous job. So she asked me what to use and I said, use the penguin set, it's so adorable. And she was trying to show you some of the celebration products. So this is a free with a $50 order. This paper, when you open it up, it looks like that. But on the back side, it's got those cutesy little guys and that's free with a $50 order. She added some trees from the Mountain Air die cuts set and then some snowflakes. So, oh, it's so pretty how she did this. And she did such a great job on this. I love it. And she left it here for me. It was on my desk. It's so awesome. So that was the Technique Thursday card for Thursday. And then what we're going to do is get started with... Um, <laughs> we're going to get started with the holiday mini catalog. Um, so what we're going to do is start in the beginning. So you guys... Uh, what this looks like. We can open it now. I'm so excited. She called it a pop-up gatefold. Good call. Thanks, Arliss. <laughs> so what we have here in the beginning, first page, now that the catalog's live, I can show you the contents of it. Um, so the, the suites are always listed on the front page here, or like the first two pages. So that's where we're going to start. So the first stamp set in here is, uh, it's called Strong of Heart. If you purchase the stamp set, uh, $3 is donated to the strong of, um, to support heart health. I don't know if I have any cards that use that one, but kits, you guys, I like to bring this up with the kits. The kits are no longer available to purchase like with item numbers from the catalog. The only way you can see what kits are available is by going to Stampin' Up! and like checking out the kits. I have no update on when the kits will be available. Um, not yet anyways. So we have here the gingerbread and peppermint sweet. Okay, you guys, so pretty, so pretty, pretty. I have some cutesy little things to show you here. Um, there is a die here that makes a cute little pillow box. And hi, Kathy Jackson from Iola. Okay, this little pillow box, when you die cut it, you put it together. Look, there's little treat seeds in here. She found some um, peppermints here. And then she used some of the designer paper that comes from down here and setting you peppermint kisses. And she, this is Sandy Carlson made this. It's a really, really pretty pillow box. Okay, so Sandy Carlson had three other things that she made. Let's see. Oh man, I got stuck there. What is that? 
ooh -wee. Oh, ha, ha, there was a little acrylic thing on there and it's no longer on there. <laughs> okay, so Sandy Carlson also made this one, which is a cute little fun fold. She used, so in this suite, there's this ruffled red, it's cherry cobbler ribbon. And then you have the, the die cuts that you can die cut these pieces right from the paper or you can stamp them. And then she added a little label on here. So, so pretty. Cinnamon Cider is the perfect color with this suite. Here's another one of her cards. Here she used, hi Judy Bobo. She used the music notes embossing folder in the background. So you can see that there's music notes back there. Pulled in a little red bow. So in this suite, there's these acrylic shapes. And that's what, I was sticking my card here. There was a little red dot that was in the middle there and it's no longer there. It is gone. <laughs> I gotta find it and put it back. <laughs> Hi, Zana. All right, so here's, we also have, um, this is the top of a tag punch here. So just added some of those acrylic shapes on the top there. They're really pretty. Okay, I haven't even looked at this yet. Oh my God, she made one of these guys. <gasps> Oh, I'm so excited to own one of these. Okay, you guys, these are the rage all over the internet or Pinterest or Facebook or Demonstrator Party Planning Place or wherever you go to, to look at cards. I have one in my hands that's my very own. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I have the instructions. So um, very, very excited to say I do have the instructions for this, um, this card here. So that's very cool. Um, Dee gave me these. And so she gave me, so I'll put this up here really quick. You guys can take a screenshot of that. I'm pretty sure that this set of instructions will apply to this um, because it looks exactly the same. And when you fold it, it's a A2 size. So, you know, what is this called? All right, it says it right here. It's a pinwheel card. That's what this is called. And I will tell you that for the next fun folds class that I do in October, there will be a pinwheel card for the fun folds. <laughs> I promise you. But this is just exquisite. Oh my God, I just can't stop looking at it and spinning it around. She did a fabulous job. Oh my God, look at that. That is part of this die set. Oh my gosh, super, super cute. You guys, I'm in awe. I didn't really see it till right now. I haven't looked at these cards quite yet. <laughs> so still getting around to it. Oh, thanks for sharing the video, Kathy. I appreciate it. They are easy to make too, right? Kathy Beck said they're really easy. So it's just a matter of um, scoring and folding them and gluing them. Uh, thanks for sharing, Debbie. Here's another one that Sandy Carlson made. This was a swap. I showed you guys this card maybe a month or so ago. I got this um, in June already, but that I brought it right back here. So this one is from Terry Meehan. This is one of these cards. Look at this. So it um, sits up like this, okay? And then, oh, I should put Sandy's name back on there. So then I don't forget who does what. Okay, um, so that, it looks like this in the front. And then she put a nice little piece of white on the back and then it mails flat for like a A2 size card. I love A2 size cards, you guys, because they fit in envelopes perfectly. And you don't have to think about the envelope. And so this was awesome. Hi, awesome. So I was gonna say hi, Brenda, but I think I said hi, Brenda already. <laughs> you just popped up that you were watching. Um, it confused me for a second. This one's also from Terry Meehan. So she had this suite as well. You're the icing on my gingerbread. Here she cut out, there's some detailed laser cut um, dies here that cut out these in red and green foil. They are so pretty, like the, the, the foil. So that foil was a carryover item from last year's holiday catalog. And then she used this new embossing folder on the back, it's called Time Worn. And it's just adds a little texture. I couldn't tell you what it really is. Just, it's worn, it has a worn texture. And then there's the stamp that's part of the set that matches. Okay. This one is from Marissa Alvarez, the kitchen table stamper. So love it. She's got a little ribbon here, like just tucked out, coming out the side. Oh, so pretty. A couple pieces of DSP kind of going diagonally. She stamped the background with snowflakes just to uh, make it um, a background. And then look at this. She put a stitch scallop border rectangle in the inside. Look at how she stamped the sentiment on the bottom right-hand side, which is not normally where you'd put it. You'd put it up there. I love the look of it down there. Very cool. Okay, we also have another one from Marissa. Fabulous stamper. Look at this one. I love it. I love this little bit of a different fold. And she put some of the ribbon going back and forth. These are the acrylic shapes. Again, she put them in the centers of her objects here. So these come in white and red. And there you go. 
last but not least, this one is from Amy Combs. Um, I put it in with this one because, wait, why did I? I don't know. I actually think that this belongs in a, an ornament set. This Okay, so this <laughs> it looked like all these cards because they were all red and green. But this is from a set called Bright Baubles. And that I don't know off the top of my head, but I bet I can find it really fast. Delicate Baubles, page 40. We'll look at that really quick here. She did, yes, that's where this comes from. There's a die set with this snowflake, the intricate snowflake, and then the outline. And then it has a bow here that hangs up. And she added some holiday rhinestones. So, hi, Jane. From Grantsburg, Wisconsin. Woohoo! All right. Hi, Crystal. Okay, so she, and then she's got an inside that's like this. So not traditional either. It doesn't have the white, but it's, you could probably, if you get a black marker, you could write on there and, and you'd still see it good. So that's what I've got going on for uh, the gingerbread suite and then the bright baubles. So you guys can see, uh, that thing is super sticky. I'm going to put that one on the top. So you guys can see how this little pillow box is adorable if you need little treatsies for anything. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so adorable. Okay. So that is that one. Now you guys, as we continue on our journey through the catalog, now it shows the stamp set and dies by itself. Sweet treats. Okay. This one was mine, guys. I picked this sweet for the swap, this stamp set for the swap. And I will tell you, this is a card coming up for a class. So when I make swap cards, I design them with class in mind. And so I think of my mom because she is my baker and um, everything maker. <laughs> and so, so I will give her a card like this and tell her thanks for making me food all the time and feeding me. <laughs> um, yes, I'm 41 years old and my mom still brings me food. <laughs> so, and I have to tell you why that is though, because she has nobody at home and she loves to cook. And so when she needs to cook at home, she cooks like she used to. So she's always got leftovers and her and my dad can't eat all the leftovers or overs. So she's like, do you need food? I'm like, yes, <laughs> always, right? <laughs> so anyways, I'm not mooching off my parents, <laughs> but my mom loves to cook. Okay, so this guy is, there's a shape here. And when it has this yellowy shape, I did a tip Tuesday on this. That means there's a die or a punch that will cut it out. And so there's a die. And then there's, these are one of the new, um, I want to just pet it here. It's so soft. It's plastic, but it's so smooth. These are the cloche domes. And so I put the pie on the inside and then put a little embossing on the back. Put This is some of the new pool party striped ribbon. So this will be a class card come September, you guys. So the monthly class for September, this is one of the cards. So yes, we all have to eat. You got that right, Anna. <laughs> okay, so that little guy was mine. Okay. Mary Snowflakes. I'm not sure if I can think of anybody who did a card with that. So we're going to keep with that. This one really will complement nicely to the annual catalog snowflake set that's in there. And Kelly actually, let's see, where's her card? I think if I had to think, she used this little snowflake came out of that die set right there. So that she did, she did use those dies. <laughs> so, okay. This guy right here. There is one card, and I don't know exactly where it is right now, but we'll get back to it. Um, I don't have any cards with the great tidings, but Painted Christmas. You guys, I have a bunch for that one, like oodles, like this many to show you. So Painted Christmas is considered what we call a mega suite or a super suite, meaning that there's two bundles in, in the suite. Um, there's So you guys, the difference with this catalog versus the annual catalog is this, when you have a suite, the suite includes stamps, dies, accessories, ribbons, and papers, and even sometimes more, where the suites in the annual catalog only had a stamp set die, a paper, and something else. So these suites are bigger in terms of product. Um, reminds me of when I was a child. My mom was a waitress and seeing pies and donuts. And that's it. Yes, exactly. The domes on the counter. I love it. Um, so Painted Christmas um, has two. So this is one of these odd ones where you probably might not like stamping up because they do this to us, but it's like these stamps, no, wait, this isn't one of them. I was going to say, sometimes they mix up the stamps with the dies, and I thought this was one, but no, this stamp set cuts out with these dies, and then this one has a whole bunch of words, and then these frilly things in the back, but these words fit nicely into these dies. So the, the both bundles really complement each other well. So we'll go through. This is Sarah Simon, fabulous stamper, guys. Look at this beauty. 
So she embossed on the background here, the there's like an evergreen pine background and then she's got the Stitch So Sweetly dies and a little evergreen bow with some of the painted Christmas paper, some little red rhinestones on there. So very pretty card by Sarah. And then she also had this one and this one's a little bit of a fun fold, a gate fold, it opens like that. And I love it, a little bit of paper on the bottom. Look at what she did with those pine cones. Oh my goodness, they're so pretty. You guys, I'm looking at these the first time with you. I literally swapped these cards out yesterday. Um, last night, they went back in the mail. Thank you, Tammy Sokolik, for dropping them off at the mailbox for me. Um, so I'm seeing them for the first time with you guys. They look so puffy, like they're real, I love it. And she styled them off, they're gorgeous. Um, so she used some of that pine cone paper and just evergreen with crumb cake and espresso. Um, Yes, Kathy. I didn't know that either until I went on the incentive trip in Hawaii. And that's why I asked the question. I'm like, so the, this catalog is appealing more to uh, um, casual to af avid crafters where they gear the annual catalog to beginner to casual crafters. So this one's full of all the stuff to make crazy cards. And you can do that with stuff from the annual catalog, but they don't showcase it as much like that. Okay, this one is from Katherine Anderson. Very, very pretty cards. Here she pulled in some of this gold shimmer ribbon that's new. She put these dies. So this right here is a big die. That's about this big. And she cut pieces of that. One of these. She, it must be this one. She cut pieces of that and then layered her pine cones on there. Use vanilla espresso. But look at her background here. She's got cherry cobbler. She has real red and polished pink. And it just creates this cool like background like a um ombre ombre oh look at the pine cones on the inside she did like what sarah did and put them over the top i love it okay so that's katherine anderson this one was also katherine anderson here she has the new timber embossing folder in the background super super pretty crumb cake on crumb cake i love to do that tone on tone too these are some of the new brushed metallic dots here she so this big label right here Actually, I'm lying. I think that this background, if I'm not mistaken, oh, that goes with the last card. There's a really big die. Oh man, I'm trying to put my hands around this right here. I thought it was this, but this isn't that big. So we're gonna have to look through the catalog where these big background comes from. And somebody might know and be watching and know, but she stamped her, um, her stamps and then die cut them out and she added some of these little gold leaves you guys these are this right here these little gold leaves are awesome i've i've had so much fun with them they just add a little bit of accent to any card they're so cool little rectangle behind here so this label right here is the one right here i think this right you guys it is it looks so small in the catalog this one is that die and then that one is the red die and then this one is that. So all these dies were from this set. So it's got to be, it's got to be awesome. I didn't realize the die was that big. Super cool. And then she's got some, oh my gosh, gold, the gold holly leaves on the inside. Super cute, 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 Catherine. I love it. Okay, whoa, my light almost fell over on us. <laughs> oh yeah, she could have cut it in half and spread it out to make it long. Yes, that, that is exact. I bet you, she did. Look at that, you guys. Okay, you can see it ends right there and then it's empty, and then it starts again. So she did, she tricked me. Okay, she cut it apart, good call, Mary. Yes, Randy, she cut it in half, you got it. Okay, Lori Krause made this. This was one of my swap that I did in Hawaii, actually. So this one's from Lori Krause. This was when we had the new product before we could even buy product, we got some stuff on the trip, so we did a swap. So that one's a cool card. This one is from Kathy Miller, woohoo, you guys, one of these guys. I love these folds. Little bit of DSP strips on the top and the bottom. It folds like that. Uh, she has that little label on here. She styled the berries, added some pine cones, and then some of the evergreen textured weave ribbon on the side. So cool. Okay. This one is Candy Michael. This one was from my Hawaii swap as well. Okay, you guys, this one's super cool. I've shown this in the past, but I thought I'd pull it in because some of you guys didn't see it when I did it. But look at this pine cone here. It's got a dimensional here. And then this, it tucks it down to hold it shut, but wait for it, it is a money holder. Like, look at this, you can stick a $100 bill y'all in there 
and you're set for a gift. Well, I'd love that, but if you wanna put 20 in there, that's good too. But look at that, isn't that a cool, fun fold? You put a little DSP there to decorate it, and then what you do is you just put that in there. Okay, you guys, what do you think about this? I think this card should be a fun fold card class too come October. So I have two cards, I think I'm gonna do a case. <laughs> this is why I swapped to get ideas. Oh man, this is Jeanette Swain, you guys. Look at that, how she put those different, okay. I absolutely love it when the DSP coordinates amongst itself. Like every side kind of can correlate with it. Sometimes like with the Harvest Meadow, you can't mix and match the patterns so well. That's harder. But well, these kind of all go together and it makes for a very cool card. Here she used some of the Cherry Cobbler and Gold Ribbon. This has a shimmer to it. Do you see how shimmery that is? Oh my God. So these all work together for me. She's got an espresso in the background and then Cherry Cobbler with Soft Succulent. And then let's, oh, I love it. She put a strip of DSP, but she added uh, some early espresso right behind it. So cool. Very, very pretty card, Jeanette. This one is also Jeanette. And, oh, this is part of, this ribbon is part of the sweet guys. It's, it's the cherry cobbler and gold ribbon. Okay, so she's got the crumb cake piece here. And she's got the bark, nope, the timber embossing folder, some brushed metallic dots, here she stamped the pine cone and then she stamped her background on this label. Okay, so this, you guys, here, we can see it now. This is the difference. <laughs> That's why she got me. So this is what the die shape normally is. But then what she did is she cut it in half and split it. So creative, Catherine. Oh my gosh. Okay, so yay. Now we can see the difference. It's, this is so pretty. I love it. Okay, good job, good job. Okay. This one is also Jeanette. So this swap was a four of the same sweet. So she did a crisscross with the DSP going this way and added this little label. Um, she did two of them, you guys. She put two labels together. Isn't that crazy? So instead of cutting it in half and splitting it, she put one up and she put one down because you can see they slightly, you can't see it, but I can see it. One slightly overlaps this way and one overlaps this. Okay, so there's a tip, you guys, trick. Instead of cutting it in half and splitting it up or sideways, put two of them on. And that's what she did. I love it. Okay. Oh, look at the side on that. You guys, isn't that fun to open that up and see that on the inside? Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. And lastly, here's another one from Jeanette and... Oh, soft sea foam. You guys, this is a color that I do not use very much, but it works. She's got real red and then pear pizzazz, garden green, and then crumb cake and espresso, a big bad bow. <laughs> I'm not like, I didn't mean it bad, as bad and bad, but like bad, you know, like cool bad. <laughs> so <laughs> look at that beauty. Okay, and have a holly jolly Christmas. Wouldn't you love to get that card in the mail or to send that to somebody? Oh my gosh, okay. So that is what I have for Painted Christmas. So cool. Okay, let's move those back here and keep moving on up. So here's the one bundle, here's the other bundle. Now, words of cheer. I honestly can't remember if I got one of those or not. I can't tell you, I can't remember, but we'll, when we go through the single stamp sets, we might come back to that. It's no wonder carried over from last holiday catalog. So some of you may have that. Here is our classic, is it cloche, I think? Cloche, maybe? <laughs> so that's where um, you could use the dome with that as well. Um, here is the encircled in warmth. And somebody did a card with that. We'll come back to single stamp sets and look at that. The silver foil is amazing and beautiful. Three different sheets of silver. And they're all different hues of silver. Okay, whimsy and wonder. Okay, you guys, are you ready for this? Give me some thumbs ups and hearts if you wanna see these beautiful cards. I'm so excited. If you want non-traditional Christmas colors, you wanna be cutesy and fun and whimsical, this is the whimsy and wonder suite for you guys. Oh my God, so much fun. Oh, are you ready for it? So the pinks and the mossy, or the misty moonlights and the mossy metals, oh my God, so pretty. So this one comes, it's just a little, it's a smaller suite. So it's a die and stamp set. It has these beautiful snowflakes, this blushing bride ribbon, and this gorgeous paper. Like, I can't even begin to tell you, you guys, this catalog does not do this justice. There's a foil in each side of one of these pages. There's a foil, like glowing, and I will show that to you. Hi, Adam Glazer. 
<laughs> Are you going to watch some swap cards with me? <laughs> All right, you guys, here's the first one. This is from Rhonda Morgan. Oh my gosh, she added in some of the mint velvet ribbon and she cut a snowflake in half. So these snowflakes, she cut it in half and she put one half coming out and one half coming down. It's a little fun fold and it's the uh, misty moonlight with polished pink. She's got a pink tree and a green tree. You guys, they're a card. And you can have pink Christmas trees if you want to. It's whatever you want. <laughs> so she has a piece of vellum over the top. Look at this. And so you can see how dark they look under. But once you put the vellum over, she embossed silver embossing powder. May the love of the season warm your home and fill your heart. And she put some wonderful gems on the tops of the Christmas tree. So instead of stars, she put those frosted embellishments on there. <gasps> so cool. Okay. This one's another Rhonda Morgan card. Oh my God. Little Christmas presents under the Christmas tree. She took this paper right here that's all Christmas presents and she cut them out and layered them under the tree and just awesome. I made a bow out of the uh, ruffled ribbon here, the Blushing Bride Gross Grain Frayed Ribbon. Ah, uh, it's so pretty. It's, oh, you can hardly tell this, but the background here is embossed with the snowflakes embossing folder and she added some more of those wonderful gems see what her inside looks like okay little trees on the inside very very pretty okay this one's Lori Krause very very cool okay this is two things going on here there's a die on the top and then the snowflake is peeking out from underneath she added some of the sil subtle silver sequins and then you guys can you see the holographic of that you how shimmery some of this paper look at that oh my god it's so cool okay look at the snowflakes are doing it too not just this white is okay that's distracting like you'll see that first but look at these snowflakes too because they do it too oh my gosh okay inside perfect okay and then this one is sandy carlson oh my gosh she used some of the new white organdy ribbon and knotted it on this so that it was like a double whammy of bows for you here. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's that pink snowflake paper. I think this, if you guys, if I had to pick some top five papers, this pink one with the snowflakes in my top five. Hi, Lisa. Look at these cutesy little trees are part of the die set. So she's got these little stick trees. She stamped and then die cut those guys out. Stitched rectangles. And then in the background here, you can see she put the wintergreen, evergreen, or whatever, evergreen forest embossing trees in the back and then oh it's a vertical card oh i love it pink tree down here in a sentiment you guys this one gives me makes me dance in my seat <laughs> oh man but look at these two next to each other i don't know which one i could pick I, i'd pick them both now she went with what is this uh that's not soft succulent oh it's mint macaroon or mac macaron however okay so that little guy right here right there is what makes this trimming of your tree <laughs> that back and forth so there's two of them and she put that on her trees and she just layered a whole bunch of trees she's got two different dsps so one the holographic white stripies and then she's got the background here and that one too also has these holo oh you can see it they're, they're kind of like holographic stars okay let's see the inside okay very cool so she's got that one going on oh man now this one is marissa alvarez so cool. So these, I put it in with this set, even though it features a different set. The Peaceful Deer is a different bundle all by itself. It's got espresso with Sahara Sand Deer. Super co cool combination. If you get that Peaceful Deer set, Sahara Sand stamp with espresso over the top of the Sahara Sand. Perfect. Um, she pulled in this ribbon. She pulled in a white baker's twine bow. All right, this little label is not from this set. I can't pull out of my head where it's from. Maybe somebody knows, uh, can tell us where it's from. Circles here. Oh my gosh. She's got a snowdrift circle. She's got a soft seafoam circle. She's got a scalloped blushing bride circle. She's got the snow popped up. Oh my gosh. It's stitched too. Layers of upon layers. Just the background is the t the time worn embossing folder. It's really hard to see what that looks like when it, a lot of it's covered up. Holy Moses! Thank you for making this wonder a wonderful season. I love it. Isn't that cool? 
<laughs> you guys, you guys get to experience these with me the first time. Because when I'm sorting these out, I'm not really looking at them. This is a Kathy Miller card. So she had this sweet for the sweet swap. She added some uh, silver metallic pearls. Here she added some silver, a layer of silver behind. Let your heart be light. She also cut out the presents and made it look like they were under the tree. This die back here is from the Hippo and Friends die set. All right. This is also Kathy Miller. Oh, you guys, this is a fun fold. Look at this. Goes like that. So it's missing the section right here, and you just attach that. And so she's got these little stick trees. She put, oh, there must be a star in there. Oh, there's a little set of dies that are stars, and they cut out the stars for the tops of the trees there. Look at that holographic. Oh, my gosh, isn't that cool? Okay, so very, very pretty. This one is also Kathy Miller. We've got Blushing Bride with polished pink with mint. Super cool. She's got all the ornaments hanging from the top. And that ornament is also part of this set. So, oh, and then she put the ornaments hanging from the top there. Very nice. And last but not least is Kathy Miller again. She likes this style. I've gotten some cards for her. It's awesome style. So you cut your base at, so this is four and a quarter, and you add like three quarter of an inch. So you must cut it at five. And you score it at four and a quarter. And then you layer up your inside. And then you add a panel to the back here and then you wrap the ribbon around and then you decorate the front and she added that snowflake and then this is the hippo and dies friends or hippo and friends die right here and then some opal rounds so pretty too okay so you guys was that good <laughs> um is, yeah you never thought about pink or lighter colored cards but they are beautiful yes oh my gosh you guys i'm so i was so it was so fun looking through these with you. Okay, so that's the whimsical treats. Now, let's keep moseying. Okay, well, here's Peaceful Deer. So we just showed you a sample of that. Happy Holidays. Oh, right on the top here. I have one perfect here I can show you. This is from Wendy Cranford. She had this stamp set for her choice. This is that die, you guys. That's from that Painted Christmas. She added some holly leaves, which are part of this um, this punch punches out the holly leaves. She added some, these little berries are from the, there's new embellishments in the catalog that are ombre, ombre. Um, <laughs> so uh, the timber embossing folder and some of the gold and cherry color, or cherry color and gold shimmer ribbon. Christmas blessings to you and ours. Okay, so that one is done. I think that's the only sample I have of that one. Oh, I have one of these guys. We might as well see if I can find it. <laughs> really quick here. So, oh, I don't know if we talked about that one yet. Hang on. Let me just see. Oh, here's this guy. So this one is from Candy Michael. It's called Snowbody Better. Okay. If you guys, I'm going to be completely honest with you. If you do not like coloring, you do not want to get this stamp set. But if you like it and you don't want to color a lot, this is what you could do. She stamped it three different times. And then on one of them, she fussy cut out the dude and she just colored a little bit. And so it's like the spotlight technique. And she put a couple, to add a little color, she put some of those little matte gems up there and we would melt without you. So that's, and then the white glittered organdy ribbon. <coughs> so perfect card to show you, like if you don't wanna do a lot of coloring, like that is a lot of coloring. So you could do something like this. Good sample there, Candy. All right, I do not know if I have anything from these. Okay, sweet stockings. I've got some here for sweet stockings for you guys. Okay, if you are into the pets, you are gonna love this. Oh, these little dots here, that's what we were just talking about. They're called matte decorative dots, they're ombre, ombre. Dark to light, four different colors. I know that looks like gray, but it's really blue. I promise you it is blue. So this is your pet suite. You've got, it's called Sweet Stockings, but you've got stamps that dies, felt, the ombre dots, the pool party ribbon, and the designer paper. So this is a card from Lori Miller. And what she did is she die cut all the little stockings in different colors and added on the little bits of, um, the, the little trims to the stockings. There is this awesome looking, it's a banner, a big banner, and it's got stitching around the sides. And so she die cut that. And then, oh my gosh, you guys, I didn't catch this, but this is embossed with white embossing powder on cherry cobbler. So they're really glossy and shiny. I don't know if I can get you guys to see that, but that's the candy cane set. So I don't remember, oh, here. 
It's a big background stamp that is candy canes. And she did them on white and white on cherry cobbler. Super cool. Very, very, very awesome. Okay, love it. So then this one is from Wendy Cranford. She did some strips of DSP. She stamped the puppy face and colored it in and made it look like he's peeking out of the stocking. So that one right there is, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's not black. It's not gray. It's, oh, are they evening evergreen? Ah, yes, evening evergreen. Okay, bumblebee, cherry cobbler, evening evergreen, and old olive. So now you can see it's their dark uh, evening evergreen. And Christmas greetings. Oh, man, <laughs> are you guys ready for it? Okay. <laughs> this is Wendy Cranford. Enjoy this with me. You open up this. This is the pool party ribbon that's part of this. Stitch dies, Santa paws, some of those dots on here. This little guy for some texture background. <laughs> okay, let me do it again. Ready? Oh man, there it is. <laughs> Fabulous card, Wendy. She gets the cat, the uh, hamster <laughs> and the dog peeking out of the stockings. Now this is an awesome fun fold card, you guys. Look at that. And I don't think it's that complicated. Um, it's a matter of scoring it and then cutting these two. You have to cut. To, uh, so let's see here. So you have scoring at probably two, four, and two, like two, four, and six. And then you cut it you got a little scoring here and then the cutting and then it's how you fold it together so yes this is a wow card and it must go like that no oh, how am i gonna shut it <laughs> you guys i gotta watch the video to see how i shut it how did i do that i know that i that guy's gotta go these guys go up there like that okay you guys it's kicking my oh there it is i was gonna say it's kicking my butt <laughs> Okay, and then the thing is you got to tie the bow back. Nice card, right? Nice. Okay, so I can do a bow without a bow maker when I have to. Yes, we need to do that in class. Diane, I suggest that you help me with that. <laughs> I'll let you teach the class. So, oh, you guys, does that happen to you when you're not using the bow maker and you tie a bow and the bow is completely upside down? <laughs> that happens. Okay, oh my gosh, the Angie Liner. She made this right here. This is the felt. So look at the felt stocking. She cut that out and she made the kitty cat holding a candy cane in the stocking. And that she cut that little dude, that little mouse is from the paper. And the mouse is walking on the presents, carrying the presents away. I love, I love it. Okay. Little presents on the inside. This was another one of Angie's. She did some of the in color shimmery um, evening evergreen ribbon and attach these like they look like little presents. It's awesome. Very, very pretty. This one is from Candy Michaels. She had this suite. Now, I would never have thought to put these colors together, but they are the colors of the suite. Cherry Cobbler, Bumblebee, Cinnamon Cider, and Evening Evergreen. And they go. It's very a non-traditionally color combination, but it works very really good. So she's got that dot right in the middle of the star. She cut some stars out with the felt paper, or it's not paper, but the felt. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. So this one also is Candy Michael. She has the stockings that come from this paper. So she die cut those or fussy cut them. Santa Paws is coming to town. So she's got all the little paws like hanging over the, the stockings. Very, very cool. And then Candy's got a couple more here. Oh man, oh, what the heck? <laughs> Do you guys see that? It almost got me. I thought I was gonna open this way and then that way, and instead they both open that way, but super cool. So stamped the presents and then cut them out, and then it opens like that. Completely fun and awesome and different, I love it. So that one is candy, and this last one is also candy, and here she has the dog that's from the set. Right here he is, that's the dog, sending lots of love. The brick wall, brick and mortar embossing folder. There it is in the back. Pool party. Oh, I was going to open it this way. And it goes like that. And then she's got the little dude on the inside. Super cool. Okay. You guys, that's what I've got for the sweet stockings. Okay. So 
that is done. Now, let's keep going. I've got one with her. <laughs> she's, she's headless and bodiless, <laughs> but I have one where they put her together so you can see how she operates. Hang on tight. Oh, I have one of those guys. Hang on, we'll go back and look at him in a second. So there, I've got one, the angel. Oh, here she is, okay. So Rhonda Morgan did this one, so you can kind of see how the stamp set works. She stamped her bottom half on with the boots on a hippo and friends die, and then she stamped the top part and fussy cut it and then popped it up on the top and added a little white crinkle bow. And I think that's the whimsy paper and then some foliage. So that foliage is what she stamped on the inside. So that's cool. And this guy, I think we passed him up. He's right here. I didn't know I had one of him. Be Jolly. And so here's our little Santa Claus is coming to town. And this one is from Jeanette Swain. And so she's got a couple DSP with backing, like mats, and then crisscross them a little, and a little banner on the end, and then decoration on the inside with some designer paper that matches. Okay, so we got that guy covered. That's nice, nice. Let's get back here. Oh, the penguins. Okay, let's see. I have a penguin. I know I have a penguin, and it's right here. Okay, happy birthday. <laughs> it's gonna be a Christmas birthday. Oh my gosh, look what she did. Okay, Candy Michael. She put this ribbon through here, but she tied little knots on the end of each of these. Ah, oh, I love it. I love it. You guys, so many good ideas. Okay, it's a fun fold. Watch this. Isn't that cool? To the coolest friend ever. So she it's like a Christmas birthday. So somebody who has a birthday in December. This is the perfect card for them. So it's called Penguin Place. It's got the stamp set and the matching punch. And so it's basic black with the tidings and trimmings designer paper. Very, very cool. Okay, you're very welcome. Like, I'm so, oh, you said thank you to all that share. Yes, everybody says that like, sharing is caring, right? You guys got a, so many cards to share. <laughs> so little time to make more, right? All right, this guy is right here. Knit together bundle. So she stamped, who is it? Terry Gaines. She stamped the background in the cherry cobbler and with like a darker, like I'm guessing espresso. Um, and then she die cut the die, cuts it out like this. And she put that on the top of this basic white paper. Oh my gosh. And then she grabbed these guys and put them on the inside for decoration on the bottom. Oh, is that cool? You guys, I don't know if you, this is so, I got, I can't get this like, go like this here. Look at that, isn't that cool? She glued them on the inside. Okay, little tag on the top. Oh my gosh, those are some. So that's talking about using your innards to go on your outside, <laughs> you know, like the inside pieces. Oh yes, oh my God, so cool, I love it. Okay, that's this one. All right, peaceful place, you guys. So exquisite. So you've got the stamp set and the dies. You've got snowy white paper it's like velvety paper the timber embossing folder the shimmer subtle shimmer sequins this is where the white organdy ribbon comes in and then this paper is amazing these are some cards i have this is from Lori kraus so the basic gray so here she pulled in the, the timber embossing folder these trees so she stamped the tr oh that's the paper actually that right there is the strip of designer paper so those aren't even stamped this she pulled in is the metallic mesh ribbon and then this label, oh, I can't remember. That must be from the Painted Christmas or one from that we just looked at. Some opal rounds. There's that. And then this one is also Lori. So this little fox dude is part of this. So she stamped a little fox and has this poor little guy strolling on a midnight <laughs> stroll through a cold, dark, snowy night. And the poor little guy is cold and I can picture him freezing. <laughs> then he's just shivering. So she used this... It's, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's fuzzy. It's velvet paper. She added the sequins along the back. So, yep, very cool. And then here's um, Wendy Lee. Guys, this is a little bit of a cool card here. Watch this. Oh, what did I do? I took it apart. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> this is supposed to be attached right there. It's supposed to go like 
this. I don't want that to come apart, but okay, like this. So do you see that? Isn't that cool? So it kind of browns in the front. So this is, we said, Wendy Lee. So on the back, she's got where you can um, decorate and write it what you want. Now, this is what happens. If you don't use a very permanent tape, it comes undone. And so this is where I would take my liquid glue, which is my craft glue, and I would put, oh, she's got the little trees attached on the back. And then we just put that right back and we're gonna secure it nicely right back. And then that'll show it who's boss. She added some of the organdy ribbon um, out coming out the label and that should stick. And there we go. So this has this rounding. I just got to get it rounded a little bit. Isn't that a cool fold though? Like this is what it looks like from the front and then the back and the sides. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay, this one is also Wendy Lee. You guys think I'm gonna love this one. Look at this. She put Highland Heather as an accent color behind. She used some of this new silver foil paper, embossed it with the time-worn embossing folder, and then I think she stamped stays on with the trees. She stamped stays on with this house. Oh, is this melt your heart? Oh my God, look how pretty that is. Like, I just said like a lot because I like it so much. <laughs> I can't stop doing that. It's so fun. Okay. And there's the little tree. It says, thank you. Awesome. We have another one here and this one's from Jeanette Swain. So this one, I don't know where these dies come from, you guys. I put this card in with this suite, but maybe it doesn't go in here. It's the paper, um, Mary Merlot, but I don't know exactly where that comes from. I don't recollect that it's not in here, so we'll find that along the way. Okay, so let's see. Oh, and cool, got the snowflakes. I have an idea that this is from a set that is right about, I want to say here. Yep, oh man, it is. There's this die right here. You can see it. It cuts it out. She cut off the border part and put that by itself on some of the silver foil paper. So cool. Okay, well that, that's not part of the suite, but now we got we figured out where it's from. Here's another one, this is Lori Krause. Um, Smoky Slate, and she put two to designer papers, and then the label comes from, that's that fancy label punch, the organdy ribbon, and then some trees on the inside. Oh man, here's Lori Krause as well, this is a fun fold. So, oh wow, what is happening here? Okay. This is kind of like how Candy Michael's card was. Look at that. Okay, you see that? It took me a minute to figure this out. This slides right behind those trees. Oh my gosh, and it stands up all by itself. Love it even more. Okay, look at that. Fun fold action. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, love it, love it. So it's basic gray, smoky slate, the timber embossing folder back here, all the peaceful place DSP. These little trees are part of this set. And they're in the silver. She added all those subtle shimmer sequins all over the place. So cool. Okay, love it, love it, love it. Now here's another. These last two are from Lori Cross as well. So this one, oh, she did it again, you guys. Look at this. She's got the fence is holding this down. It opens like that and like that. And then to shut it, you sneak it, sneaker it right under the fence. Oh, is that cool? Okay. Fun stuff, you guys. And then this last one's from Lori, too. Oh, poor little guys out in the cold. <laughs> They're having a fire inside right now. <laughs> so there's a die here that die cuts those, and she puts silver foil behind to make it shimmery. Oh, you can see it there. All right. Oh, and then a label on the inside with the ribbon. You guys, how often do we see ribbon on the inside of cards? Not very often, but look at that. She put the white organdy ribbon on the inside. Oh, this is shimmery white paper, too. You can't tell it, but it's got shimmers all over it. All right, do you like those? They're all along the same color <laughs> family. They're all gray and white or gray and vanilla. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, so those are the peaceful place. Okay, you guys, I, I have a card for this little bundle here and I'm gonna save it for the very last card. I think it's my favorite card of every card that I got from this group and I wanna save it for the end. So we'll come back to Arctic Bears. 
We showed you one with the baubles. Um, oh, an angel. So I have an angel. She is an angel, and she's right here. She's from Terry Meehan, and she's got some of the gold shimmer vellum embossed with the music notes, the shimmer or the gold ribbon. She's got the little angel here embossed in gold, colored in her dress with a little bird, and then a sentiment on a stitched rectangle in shimmer white, and she's got the angel on the inside. So that was Terry Meehan with the angel. Uh, Marius Moments, I believe I have one of those as well. Maybe. This one, I think. Oh, you guys saw. Oh, no, it's off camera. Well, I almost showed you a sneak peek of my favorite. This is Marius Moments by Rhonda Morgan. So, I think that's the designer paper from one of the suites. And she stamped these uh, poinsettias. And then a little of the red ribbon. And together is the merriest place to be. And some foliage in the bottom. Okay. You guys, sad face. I'm going to cry. My eyes, wipe my eyes. This little guy here, I do not have a single sample from. Because this paper was on back order until yesterday. So, I have six cards that are going to be coming in the mail in the next two weeks probably. And as soon as I get them, I will share them. But this is where the gold shimmers from. The shimmer ribbon. Yeah, so we, I don't have a sample. I'm sad. I don't have a sample, but um, Welcoming Woods. I have a sample there. He is right here. This one is from Terry Gaines. So basic gray. So here's that Peaceful Place paper, the white organdy ribbon, a little of the silver, and she just stamped it on a label. And then she ripped the bottom here, and she sponged the edge. Um, hi, Kathy Cornea. And so she stamped the bottom and then put the sentiment on the bottom. Isn't that pretty? So you don't have, you know, it's simple, but like you don't have to do anything with the trees. So when you get this and you're not sure what to do, um, definitely think some, you know, keep it simple. So, and then some snowflakes on the inside. Okay. So this one right here, I have a sample and I've shown this in the past when I did that. This is a wedding card that I made. I didn't put my pearls on this one, but <laughs> I have, I had put pearls on. This is the art floral ribbon and some of that brushed metallic paper. And then the little branch comes in the set. I love that little branch sticking out. Some shimmer vellum and some more brush vellum here. Yes, so that is the gorgeous leaves. You guys, I got some pumpkins here for you too. I got a pumpkin card right here. This one is from Mindy Gray. And so it's got a flap this way and a flap this way. So think about that. You go that way and then that way. So. Um, the grays are going on here. I think we've got gray, basic gray with gray granite. And so that's with the pumpkin. So here's another one where you think, oh, I don't like coloring, but she didn't color and it turned out perfectly wonderful. This little squirrel boy is amazing. Um, it's called Nuts About Squirrels. I have a sample to show you from Jeanette's, um, no, from Wendy Cranford. <laughs> Look at them. So it's just, she put it together so good. Um, the timber background on espresso, some of the painted Christmas paper, that shimmer vellum, not shimmer vellum, the shimmer gold ribbon, the brushed metallic dots in here and the brown ones, or they're coral, and she stamped him with a little acorn. So she did a great job on this one. I think that's what I have on there. You know, I know I, Stacy never would have thought gray with pumpkins either. Um, I think we passed this one. This is the one I thought, well, we'll come back to. This is that bright one from back here. I don't know how far back it was, right? One more, I think. Two more. Three more. There, that guy. The stars are shining. So here's a card. And then this is that embossing folder. It's star crossed is what it's called. There's stars on one side and then the hashi tag on the other side. And then some of that red ribbon that carried over. Some gold shimmer vellum in there, I think. And then a little sentiment across the top. Okay. So this cute Halloween is a Dorbsy. So I've got a bunch of Halloween cards to show you guys. Look at all these. Oh my goodness. Lots. Okay. Got to get into the purples and the, and the oranges here, everybody, in black. So you got your stamp set with a punch, the little tombstone treat boxes. I should show you them. Okay. Cute stars, the gingham ribbon in black and white, and then the paper. So this one is from Sandy Carlson. 
super cute. <laughs> it looks like chaos for the friendly ghost. I love it. She made them purple with a, a, like a black eyes and black hands and little nose up there. But I love how she did the purple on the outline. She had purple stars. Have a fabulous Halloween. So cute. Okay, another one from Sandy Carlson. This one she did the orange. She colored this ribbon with a pumpkin blend. You guys, so this is the ribbon. It comes white. This is it on orange. <laughs> okay, so you put a smile on my face. These little pumpkins are adorable. So they stamped and then she punched them out. Used some of the paper and made a little banner. This is the, um, you guys, she... It looked almost stitched, but it's not. It's the tasteful label or tasteful um, embossing folder. A little pumpkin on the inside. This is from Amy Combs, you guys. She loves layers, lots of layers. So look at this. A circle, a punch, a die, a die, a die, and a doily. <laughs> and then a pumpkin. She pulled in the, the Highland Heather Shimmer Vellum, and it opens like that. It's so cool. So I love, look at that paper. Isn't that pretty? Very pretty. Okay, then we have Mindy Gray. Oh, she used a whole quarter sheet of black glitter paper. Look at that. Look at that spider web. That spider web is from this set on the next page. It's called Frightfully Cute Bundle. There is a, an amazing spider web right there and a fence and a hat and a tree. And that's where that comes from. This little ghost actually is a ghost from right there. It's from the paper. So she cut that from the designer paper. Some cute stars and then a stitched scalp. That must be from the Stitch So Sweetly rectangles. Mindy Gray. So I told you, lots of purples and pinks, guys. Oh my God, look at, oh my God, you guys. <laughs> look at, oh my God, wait for it. Isn't that adorable? Oh, I love it. So she just made a little pop-up on the inside to like spook you. Hi, Shannon. Better late than never. I'm glad you're here. Thanks for joining. You can always start the replay over um, when we're done. The brick and mortar embossing folder. Look at this. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, I could do that all night. All right, we've got here Jay Shante. You guys, oh, I was so on the fence about this set. Right, oh, my book's gotta open. Wait, where is it? It's right, not there. There's this edging thing. Hang on, right here. So she pulled in, that's called Festive and Bright. There's these hats. So she pulled in that hat stamp, and then there's a die that cuts out the border. She colored them all in. Isn't that cool? Use this paper, spooky, spooky. I got a little glue ball there. You guys, that's where the adhesive eraser takes that right off. Perfect card, Jay, I love it. Okay. Oh, look at this, you guys. I, Sandy Carlson. Purple. Purplicious. Look at the little witch hat. That witch hat came from this set. The paper comes from here. The little bow. So cute. Happy Halloween to you. She put the witch flying in the sky. I love it. Okay. This was from Marissa Alber Alvarez from my um, sweet, uh, my ha ha uh, Hawaii swap. So this was what she got from um, going to the incentive trip. So very, very cool. So that was Marissa. So you might have seen that one because I've shown it before. L Elaine loves Halloween. Okay, you guys. Jay made this one too. Look at this. All right. And you go like that. Oh. So cool, Jay. I love it. Look at that beauty. These little guys here, this paper, she colored that yes it's this paper right here she took a blend and colored all over the top of it oh wow that's thick you guys i love it oh i would be so happy if i got a card like that in the mail <laughs> this is also jay look at this flirty flamingo with basic gray and the black here's the spider web the little spooky ghost he comes from I don't know where. I don't know if I can put my finger on that right now. Oh, he's he's not that hard to find though. There are here. Oh man, he's from right here. Festive and bright bundle. There's a little baby Casper. Look at him. He's uh, she die cut him in from the brush silver or the silver foil. Have a 
fabulous Halloween. Oh, it's so cool. And a spooky spider coming down. Oh my gosh. Jay, awesome. Okay, what else do we have here? Here's another one from Jay. Look at this. I love it. I don't know if that's... Sometimes you can make them and they can stick uh, got gift cards in there. Oh my gosh. So the hammered embossing folder. The Stitch So Sweetly dies. She colored the ribbon. Oh my gosh. You guys. Orange. Orange. Love it. <laughs> orange drink. <laughs> oh, that came up this weekend in conversation. Do you remember... So I'm aging myself here. I remember growing up and we had um, recess and we had activity days and we'd get orange drink from McDonald's back like 30 years ago. So we always call it orange drink. Um, this one is, uh, I think this is Jay's as well. I don't know. I lost the little slip. I'm pretty sure this is Jay's as well. Casper is die cut with the glitter paper, the black glitter paper. It's a fun ball. You put a smile on my face. I love it. Oh my gosh. So do you guys like these Halloween cards? Oh my gosh. I know Elaine loved every minute of these Halloween cards. So I have to show you the Treatsy box though. So give me 30 seconds. Not even 30 seconds. This is, I have them over here. I have one decorated for you. This is a little spoiler alert for those people that are attending my summer creative escape this weekend. I tried to give them a little assortment of everything. And so this is one of their little party favors. So these are the tombstones and you get eight of them in a pack. And then I added the elegantly said label with um, some black glitter underneath and then a little label on top and some of the black organdy ribbon. And when you open them up, I found a cute little treat for the inside. This is going to be their mid-morning snack. <laughs> so a baked square, a Quaker baked square, and I got blueberry and strawberry. And they fit perfectly in here. I was so excited. So that's the little tombstone. So sorry for anybody who's coming this weekend. You, a little spoiler alert. That's what you guys are going to get. <laughs> so, okay. All right. So we're not quite done. We have a few more to go. We're getting there. We're, we're close. We have the Harvest Meadow. Somebody asked me today, Ann Van Willigan asked me today, what is my favorite bundle out of the whole catalog? Uh, I have a hard time picking you guys. I love them all. But if I had to pick one, I almost think I would pick this one. I don't necessarily pick it because of these designer papers. I pick it because of the dies and the stamps and how they coordinate together. So let me share with you some of these beautiful cards. This is Jay Shante. She used, this is some of the... Um, there's in the annual catalog, there's the blush gold and the gold uh, foil. Um, it's like shimmery stuff. And she die cut these little foliage pieces out with that. So what is it like? A McDonald's day with orange drink at St. Joe's school many years ago. Yes. <laughs> orange drink. <laughs> oh. So then she, you guys don't have to always color flowers. So she stamped the, these cone flowers. I think they're cone flowers in on the Sahara sand or crumb cake and then just die cut them no coloring so here's that that gold I don't know it's like brushed gold paper and a little note on the inside it's got those little guys coming out so pretty okay this is another Jay Shante card a book card guys so this is part of the ribbon that goes in here the cork paper is awesome little disclaimer about the cork paper Stampin' Up! published a little post, I don't know, maybe three weeks ago that said the cork paper, the way it's manufactured, it's a process. It's not like normal paper. It's cork. And so you're not going to get a full 12 by 12. So the sheets that I got were actually a quarter inch shy of 12 inches. And that's in the process. It shrinks down, I think, while it's being baked. So this is some of that cork paper. She die cut this little background here and then um, that little labely piece here and misty moonlight with the cork is gorgeous. So there's the inside book card. This one is Sarah Simon had the sweet soft succulent. And then this paper goes really good. It's this piece right here. And that one flips up a reminder to never forget how much you mean to me and so many others. The time worn embossing folder is in this suite. So I don't know if you guys can see that it, it's like the tasteful textiles, 
but it's different pattern, but it's subtle. It's just a, a rant, non, it's just like, there's no decoration to it really. It's just subtle embossing. There are these weird letters that make up words, but you can't read them fully. <laughs> so, all right, this is Sarah Simon as well. She tried to go with every color. If she told me correctly, she had a blue, a uh, rich raspberry, a green, and then the crushed curry. So she's got that on the inside. Look at the little ribbon up here. Oh, look at that perfect little bow, a cork label. And she die cut that out and she sponged the brown with the yellow and the green. Some brush metallic dots, a circle back here with the time worn embossing folder and then sponging color over the top. So very pretty. <clears throat> this one is Sarah Simon as well. Misty Moonlight with like the foliage in the back. She embossed this in white on the Misty Moonlight and used that whole background pa paper. She used a little strip on the bottom. <clears throat> and then Rich Razzleberry with the crumb cake. Oh my gosh. She split the ribbon. She took a piece of ribbon, she tied a bow around it, and then she cut the ribbon in down the center. So it's still connected in the middle. But look at what kind of texture that gave it. The little label is stamped with like a background on it. And this guy opens like that. And she stamped the sentiment right in the area where it was covered up. Very cool. I also was part of this one. And my cards, I think I've shown them. But let me show you. This is for my sweet class that I have coming. I have a bunch of cards with this one, just to give you. These are class cards now. So this is the sweet bundle class I have coming up in September. And these are what I did for the swap. These are the ones I made. So these are what you guys can make if you want to do class with me in September. And this is one of them as well. And so I use those border dies. And then this guy right here is one and then this cork paper with the misty moonlight is so awesome and then that paper on the bottom now diane bogenhagen and i are doing oh i can't show you these that will be a little spoiler alert i'll share them with you another time we did um our made our some cards together for a class but it'll be a secret <laughs> for a little while summer creative escape and i didn't want to spoil it too spoil alert too much Okay, sorry about that teaser, guys. We only have a few left. We have these, and then we have some celebration cards to do. So we have here, let's see what's left back here. Because <clears throat> I don't know where this guy came in. This is from Jennifer Merle Hampshire. There's a set, <clears throat> excuse me, way in the beginning that has that Holly cheer thing. I don't have it memorized yet. <laughs> oh, there. That's, I said I didn't think I had anything, but I do. So black with stamping um, in white the little uh, poinsettia leaves and then the cheer here's in the green foil and some sentiments on the inside here's our fat cat over here this guy right here is clever cats marissa alvarez did this card some of that black and white gingham ribbon oh my god he's playing on his broomstick in front of the moon i love it my tail says it's the twitching hour <laughs> is that awesome oh look what she did she lined them up perfectly Good job. Have a perfect Halloween. I love that. Um, back here, Tammy Sokolik did a card with this set, Reflected in Nature. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? And then it opens like that. And she's got this reflective um, image going on. And she's got the wintergreen or evergreen forest back here she took these strips and she just cut with her scissors and created little paper strips this is from beauty of the earth and the beauty of the earth paper on the back take time for you is that not uh, an exquisite card oh it's so pretty good job okay that one is tammy now what do i have left here that little piggy and this i'm not Oh, this is the candy cane background cut into little banners and some Boston white and sponged over the top, ribbons tied around and a little tag. That is Jennifer Merle Hampshire. That's her card and there is an inside. Yeah, there we go. Where did, oh, here, right here, little piggy. This little piggy went to town. This little piggy went to the market. This little piggy had roast beef and this little piggy had none. This little piggy is on the front of the card and is from Joyful Life. A little something for a great person from Sandy Carlson. And so... There he is, enjoying his cup of coffee. <laughs> Beautiful bow, oh my gosh. Oh, you guys can see my, my favorite card. Oh man, okay. 
You guys, you know I love purple, right? So, Arctic bears. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Take it in, isn't it beautiful? Katherine Anderson made this card. Oh my gosh, she die cut out the bear and the moon out of the white to make it look like the background. But look at this again. Oh, it's so pretty. Is that not pretty? It's gorgeous. Like she's got misty moonlight, night of navy maybe, gorgeous gray birch razzleberry, northern lights look, stars from the cute stars from the Halloween set. Is that not gorgeous? It is so pretty. I just can't stop staring at it. She masked this because this is completely like smooth. So she stamped it and then she had a mask. She had to cut the mask out and place it over the top. And then she did all of her coloring around it. So if all, yes, I know Stacy, those, those blending brushes, you gotta be on the, you gotta be Johnny on the spot with them. They have been on and off of back order since they came out in June. Three times they've been out of stock. So now that we've gone through the whole catalog of the cards that I have, just know that with a $50 purchase, you can get free items with the Celebration catalog. Oh, you guys, I don't know if I have one handy. I'll have to go get it. So I'm going to show you some Celebration cards. This is all I have left for tonight, and then we're done. Um, is that Jill? No. It's not Jill. Who do we got? Oh, hi. hi. Do you want to grab me a Celebration catalog from over there? They're right behind where it says raffle tickets. Yeah. I'm just kidding. I've got a guest here, guys. <laughs> So, um, so we just have celebration cards to do. And so basically with the mini catalog, thank you, dear. You want to say hi? Hi, everybody. It's Jennifer. Jennifer's here. We were just sharing your cards. Oh, yay. Yay. So Jennifer is here. She's helping me for the weekend with the Summer Creative Escape. She's my special guest staying with me till Sunday. Woo she's a creative demonstrator for the retreat and she's a display stamper and she is going to be my helper all weekend. So, <laughs> yay. So I'm just re finishing up with the cards and you can pick a spot in the, the okay. garage for your display wherever okay. you want. Yeah. I, well, I haven't been to the high. Yeah, I know she hasn't been. Time. This is her first time here. She's, you guys, she, she's going around just like looking at everything. There's so much to look at. <laughs> so okay. Diane says hi. 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 Brenda says hi. Hi, everybody. Lori says hi. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do celebration, guys. So in this catalog, with a $50 purchase, Christy Warren says hi. With a $50 purchase or $100, you get a free item. So there's a few to choose from. So we've got the Dazzling Paper, the Penguin Paper, the Feels Like Home Beautifully Penned Paper, Peaceful Prints, Counting Sheep, stamp set and dies, textures and frames, and summer shadows. Oh, there's more. And da delicate dahlias. So I wanted just to show that's what you get free with a purchase from now through, um, Judy Bobo says they all say hi. <laughs> um, now through September 30th, you get that free. So let's show you. Oh, I forgot one. Hang on. You guys, this is not celebration. This is a book. Okay, it's thick. Look at how thick this is. So Amy Combs made this. Amy loves layers. She loves the doilies too, because I think every card I get, I love it. I don't use the doilies much myself, so when I get samples from her with doilies, I love it. Layer, 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 layer. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Like there's some seventeen layers of paper on here, but look at. Okay, so I gotta do it. I gotta do it from the beginning. So this opens like this. And then like this, and then like that. Is that not like a 10 pound card is what I would call that. <laughs> wow. So boom, boom, boom. So this was from there. I don't know. He's not on the bottom of my celebration pile. Let's see if there's anything else. Nope. I think we're good. Okay. So I went through all the celebration things. So here's a card. This is my card actually that I did first. That's going to be for the celebration hoorah rock class that I have coming up in September. So I did the, sh the, the lamb sheep ones what? <laughs> That's what Diane said. I love it. There's a little opal round on his party hat and says, so glad it's your birthday. <clears throat> what do I have here? Katherine Anderson. This is, I'm not sure if this is celebration. It's got to be celebration. What's, oh, this is the Peaceful Prince designer series paper. Look at that awesome bow. It says, hello. So she made a non-Christmassy card with the, that Peaceful Prince paper. This one is from Candy Michael. 
So she's got a fake gift card here for the Red Robin so that that tucks in here. Like if you wanted to give a gift card, so you could tuck that right in here. If I can get it back in here, okay? And then she's got <clears throat> a little, the sheep on here, a little party hat on that dude. So we got sheep and then this one was with the penguin paper. Who is this? Sandy Carlson. I was like, somebody cut all these little dudes out. I love the little family. I got the little fox, the penguin, the, and the snowman, and the party, the bear. They're all like enjoying the being together. I love it. So that is oh, awesome. Misty moonlight, and then some of the penguin paper as well. So that's that. Here's our little penguin dude again, Rhonda Morgan. Look at his little like little neck bowl. Isn't that adorable? Love it. And his little feet. This is a book card. I love it, Rhonda. Look at he's got his little antlers on. And then we've got the white organdy ribbon. And here you've got the black organdy like tied up in there with like a loop and it comes down. So cool. So that's a penguin dude. We've got another little penguin dude here. I like you a lot. <laughs> Randy Cranford. Um, this is the penguin paper with the penguin dude. It's like a little except a lot. So there's, we've got that one for the penguin. And here's our sheepy again. This is Catherine and, oh, Wendy Lee. Um, Blackberry Bliss with Daffodil Delight, uh, crinkle white ribbon. It goes like that and like that. Fun fold. Okay, so we got a sheep one. And then who do we have here? Terry Meehan. So this is some of the hand penned paper. So that's what was featured from Celebration on here. And the wonderful gems opens up like that. And a little black and white gingham bow. So there's a different one. Here's more penguins from Marissa Alvarez. Look at the, she brought in the flowers for every season baker's twine and our little penguins. And then the stitched so sweetly dies, our brick and mortar embossing folder. Now here are the shaded summer dies. So shaded summer is a stamp set in the annual catalog, but the dies are a free gift with a hundred dollar purchase in the celebration catalog. And so here she's got the time worn. I don't know if really there, you can kind of see that that's the time worn over both pieces. And then it looks like polished pink. And this is Terry Gaines. All right, so there we go. Got a flower on the inside. And then we got one more sheep from Lori Cross. Deerland stamping. Oh, very cool. So here you've got the cork paper. The fence is made out of the cork paper. It comes with the sun and the clouds and wrapped around with some linen thread. And we got a little party guy on the inside. So we got another sheep one here. So very, very cool. Hi, Nell from New Jersey. Love the penguin cards. Yay. So many cool fun folds. I know. Isn't that awesome? So these are what I have for celebration. So you guys, I get all these cards in and then I also got a whole bunch of cards. So for the summer creative escape, I hosted a spot for that event and I probably have another hundred cards or so, maybe more. Um, 20 plus 17 plus 13 plus 11 plus 9 or something like that. So I don't know that maybe is about 100, not quite. And I didn't want to do those tonight for the showcase because I want to save them to be a surprise for those people who are attending. So people who attend the event could give me their cards ahead. So they're all ready, um, out there, ready for people to see and um, vote on. And so I will plan another swap card showcase in the near future to show you all those amazing cards. So... I hope you enjoyed all those fabulous cards. I, they were amazing. You guys saw them for the first time with me too. I mean, I helped sort them out, but I didn't look at them in any detail or even open them up. So um, yeah, they are so phenomenal. Awesome. So I, so watch for another swap card showcase. But what I want to do is I want to do some prizes and give away some things. Um, I'm not sure what I'm giving away. I'll go through my vault of prizes and then pick prizes. Um, so what we'll do is we'll pick some names. Um, got it. I was like, a message came through. I'm like, who is texting me? Okay, so you guys are all saying the great ideas. I love it. Okay, so last week I had left some cards for Kelly to announce who the winners are. And I mentioned that she didn't get the memo from me. I sent them there, but she didn't know to do anything with them. So I did do a post last week that said congratulations to the winners. And so you guys may have seen these already, but um, I didn't get to do the drum roll and say who they are. So um, yeah, so many talented people, Penny. I definitely agree. 
So let's put this like that. Okay, so this one was, um, drum roll, brrr, so this was the ink, paper, scissors from July. So this one went to Lisa Hurt Sharky. <laughs> I think I said that right. I, Lisa Hurt Sharky. You were on earlier, Lisa. So this one is your card that you're gonna be getting in the mail. I need your address. Amy Dashler, winner, winner, chicken dinner for the pineapple card. Amy, I will be seeing you this weekend. So I might just give you this card this weekend <laughs> when I see you. Congratulations, my Aloha card goes to Audrey Bosley. So you are the lucky winner, Audrey. I don't know if I got your address and if you sent it to me, let me know. But I do see that one of these little, um, uh, we have the Big Island and Maui, Oahu came off. So we gotta replace Oahu so that you're not an island short. And then this one, doo -doo -doo, winner, winner is Sharon Caster. You are the lucky winner of this um, this card from the Ink, Paper, Scissors. So. Those are what I wanted to announce tonight. Now for next week, I saved these cards. These have not been drawn yet. So this is from Let's Just Stamp and the Tidings class. You guys, I still, I haven't had a moment to figure out anything with them. <laughs> so we're saving them for next week. I figured that we have enough that we're doing right now with all this stuff. <clears throat> so what we're going to do first is last week uh, was, um... oh, I said it perfect. Okay, good. So we're gonna do the paper pumpkin drawing um, from last week. So I had 16 people who got the paper pumpkin through me in the month of July. So this is for July. So we're just gonna go to random number generator really quick, you guys, and see who we have for that. So we have 16 people. So out of 16 people, the thing is going to generate number five. Well, me, <laughs> I got a paper pumpkin from myself. <laughs> That's hilarious. I can't win from myself, right? That's not right. <laughs> I, w I can go and get it whenever I want, whenever I want it. Okay, Barb Freund, we'll pick you. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. That was mine that, that Kelly put together. That's funny. Okay, so Barb Freund is our winner, winner, chicken dinner for paper pumpkin. Okay, so I have the top bands here. For the month of July, 77. Oh my goodness, you guys, that's awesome. So how you become a top fan is you like and comment and provide feedback like by commenting, face, um, sharing, um, and Facebook puts you in a top fan and gives you a badge. And so what I do at the end of the month is I collect all those names and we do a drawing. So we're gonna do three. Um, so 77 people and we're gonna click generate. Number six, Janice Stapp McPherson. So you are a winner. I don't have your address. I don't know where you live. So I need to know where to mail a prize to. So I'll also pick, put a post out there with a congratulations so that you see that. So Janice, you are a winner. Winner chicken dinner. Angela, you are a lucky lady. Wowzers, you have a prize in a bag, I think, underneath the counter right now. Um, you won from, I think, the tidings and trimmings class, maybe, a prize. So you won a prize. And then lastly, we have number 15, Roxanne. Oh, my gosh, Roxanne Kilburn. Awesome sauce, girl. You are a winner as well for being a top fan. So we've got Janice Stat McPherson. We've got Angela Knutson and jo Roxanne Kilburn. Awesome. So you guys are the lucky winners for that. For the team challenge I did for the Be Happy Stampers, so um, Anna, Carissa, and Deb all um, submitted entries for the team challenge that I did um, for the July 15th through July 31st. So out of you three, who's the lucky winner? Number two, Carissa. You are the lucky winner from the team challenge from submitting your card entry. All right, so that is that, and then... I have announcement too. So you guys, it's the beginning of the month. It's already the fifth today. I think it's the fifth. Is it the fifth? Yeah, it's the fifth today. I have not written the monthly newsletter yet for August. And so you have to be a little bit more patient with me. I was wanting to find out who all these winners were so I can include them in the newsletter, but also I have not had a moment to write the newsletter. So give me till Monday or so, and I will publish my Cards by Christine July, oh, August newsletter. Um, with updates and the winners and what's coming up. So my plan is to have that to you guys on Monday. And then in addition, if you spent $50 with me last month, that PDF tutorial, I will have that out by probably Tuesday to everybody who purchased $50. So I usually try to get that out in the first couple days of the month, but it has been so hectic with planning for this event. 
and all the classes I have coming up for August that I didn't get to that. <laughs> that put on the back burner. Okay, so for the monthly creative challenge, the winner was Luann Johnson. Um, what I did is I took everybody's name and threw it into the hat, and Luann, you were the lucky winner there. And for the class card challenge, we have Tammy Steckling. You were the winner for that. So um, the class card challenge is... A challenge I do monthly so if you purchase a class from me and you put your cards together I love to see your creations and so by submitting your pictures it puts you in for that drawing so Tammy and well thank you to everybody for sharing but congratulations to Tammy for winning and then for the monthly creative challenge there is a set of parameters and you have to make a card according to those parameters and so everybody gets put into that and so Luann was the lucky winner for that those two posts are always as a pin post. Um, I collect them both and put them into an announcement and then you click on the link and that's how you submit your entries. So it's always the first post in my feed on the Cards by Christine page. You can always find it by clicking on that link. So, whew, you guys, how did we do? I think we are successfully almost done. <laughs> Let me find you guys again for your comments. So thanks to everybody for congratulating everybody. I love sharing the love and seeing that you guys are too. There's Jeannie Parker. You're here now. Yay, Jeannie, I'm almost done. So I'm gonna be working with Jennifer on preparing, pre so preparing for tomorrow. We have to get all the technology lined up. And so if anybody's joining me for the winter, for the summer creative escape tomorrow, just know that we'll be live at about nine o'clock with introductions and you need to be part of the Summer Creative Escape Group to be able to watch anything. So, all right, all right. So, you guys, we're Thursday. So, I think the next time I'll be live is sometime this weekend and I'm gonna be sharing the event with you, what's going on and show you a little bit about the displays and some of the cards that are on display and just have everybody say hi to you that's here. So. Woohoo! All right, you guys, did I forget anything? I always ask you that, but then nobody ever tells me if I forget anything. So I'm always curious if I do or if I don't. And I always find out after the fact. So, all right, here we are. I'm gonna see if I got any others. So, yay, Angela, you, uh, you're very welcome. Okay, yay, Luann was there too to hear that she won. Awesome, I love it that when you guys are watching and you hear your name when you win. So, all right, I think that's it, you guys. I have so much energy and I don't know how because I, <laughs> I think I had um, a little soda before uh, I went live. I drank a little soda so to keep me going. <laughs> there must be a little caffeine that got me going. So, all right, you guys, lots of sunshine and love and hugs to you. You guys have a great rest of your night. Enjoy your weekend and I love you. See you later. Bye.